good morning children welcome back to the channel awesome learning and uh, today we are going to discuss about very new two topics uh, what is iron and polyatomic ions but before discussing ions i want to discuss about uh, the structure of atom so we all know children what is an atom an atom is a fundamental piece of matter we have done this you have done the at dalton's atomic theory that atom is the smallest particle of matter which cannot be further divided right but today we are going to see something very new about atoms an atom is made up of three kinds of particles called subatomic particles we used to know that we have studied that atom is the smallest particle but now we are going to see that atom again is made up of three kinds of particles and we call those particles as subatomic particles right and what are they they are protons neutrons and electrons so every atom children is made up of three types of particles called protons neutrons and electrons now the protons and neutrons make up the center of the atom and center of the atom is called the nucleus as you see let me show you here this is center of the atom so all the protons and neutrons lie in the center of the atom this is the atom of magnesium so this is the center so all the protons and neutrons the black ones are the protons and the blue ones are the neutrons so all the protons and neutrons are at the center of the atom and center of the atom is known as nucleus easy then we are left with electrons children electrons fly around above the nucleus in a small cloud now all around the center you see are electrons the red particles are the electrons so they are placed all around and where are they placed they are placed in an orbit let me show you the orbits also here see these are the orbits so electrons are placed in the orbits or shells we also call them as shells or orbits so this is the structure of an atom again and let me tell you an atom has three types of particles protons neutrons and electrons protons and neutrons are in the center which is also called nucleus and electrons are placed all around in particular orbits or shells right so this is about the structure of atom now children remember this very important electrons carry a negative charge electrons are always negatively charged and protons are always positively charged okay and the neutrons do not carry any charge you can add here i just forgot to add that neutrons do not carry any charge right okay and children one more thing remember this that in a normal condition an atom normal condition of an atom the protons and number of electrons are equal now let me show you if number of protons is equal to number of electrons that means number of positive charges 
right let me write plus for uh, here for you number of positive charge will be equal to number of negative charge right and now because we have studied that protons all the protons are positive and we have also learned that all the neutron electrons are negative that means jitne positive utne negative therefore what what is the result atom on the whole is neutral right so under normal conditions atom is neutral why is atom neutral because the number of protons is equal to number of electrons or neutrons pe to charge hota hi nahi so that is why atom on the whole is neutral so if we write uh, many times if we write an atom uh, let me take an example here if we write oxygen atom so what do we write we write o2 so do we write any charge do we write any plus or minus no why are we not writing any plus minus because it is neutral kyunki jitne protons hai utne hi electrons hai if i want to write hydrogen i write h2 i do not write any plus minus because the number of electrons and number of new protons are same so that means here these atoms are neutral okay right i hope you have understood why what are protons what are electrons and what are neutrons and why an atom is neutral under normal conditions right so this is an example given here for you see a carbon atom now a carbon atom has six protons in the center six neutrons again in the center and six electrons which are placed outside see okay similarly a magnesium atom 12 protons here 12 neutrons here and 12 electrons on the outer side and a cal calcium atom again 20 protons 20 neutrons and 20 electrons so this is how an atom is made or this is is what is the structure of an atom you can say the structure of an atom and all these are known as subatomic particles now when after explaining atom let us see what are ions okay children an ion is a charged atom or a molecule now when i write atom o2 or h2 i am not putting any charge here right but when i write here when i write o Two minus. Now this two minus should be little bit up here. यहाँ पर ऊपर की तरफ होना चाहिए. As it is written here, let me show you the table. Uh, it should always always be written like this. थोड़ा सा ऊपर की तरफ. Superscript as we say. Now you see this is the table. We are putting charge. Hydrogen H plus. Na plus Ag plus here Cl minus Br minus O2 oxide का O2 is minus now when we put some charges either it is a plus charge or it is a minus charge then such atoms or molecules are known as ions so they are known as ions we will not call them as atom now. जब तक ये ऐसे है इफ वी राइट ओ टू वी आर नॉट पुटिंग एनी चार्ज हियर देन इट इज एन एटम बट इफ आई राइट ओ टू माइनस देन इट इज नॉट एन एटम देन इट इज एन आई एन नाउ इट इज चार्ज वाई इज इट चार्ज चिल्ड्रन आस मी की क्यों है इसके ऊपर चार्ज इट इज चार्ज बिकॉज द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स डू नॉट इक्वल द नंबर ऑफ प्रोटोन्स इन द एटम रीजन इज जनरली एक न्यूट्रल आइटम में बेटा प्रोटॉन्स और इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जो दोनों हैं दे आर सेम दे आर इक्वल बट इफ वी राइट नेगेटिव चार्ज इट मींस दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर मोर इन नंबर देन प्रोटॉन्स एंड इफ वी राइट पॉजिटिव चार्ज देन इट मींस 
नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स आर मोर देन दैट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आपने मैथ्स में ये किया है ना जो नंबर बड़ा होता है उसी का सिंबल लगता है उसी का साइन लगता है ना अगर इफ यू आर सपोज टू डू दिस हंड्रेड माइनस हंड्रेड लेट मी राइट इट फॉर यू माइनस हंड्रेड एंड प्लस प्लस फिफ्टी सो वॉट विल बी दी आंसर द आंसर विल बी ऑफकोर्स माइनस फिफ्टी एंड वाई इज दी आंसर माइनस फिफ्टी वाई डिड यू पुट दिस माइनस साइन बिकॉज दिस नंबर इज बिग तो जो नंबर बड़ा होता है उसी का सिंबल हम लगाते हैं तो सिमिलरली अगर किसी भी एटम के ऊपर पॉजिटिव चार्ज है दैट मीन्स कौन ज्यादा है प्रोटॉन्स ज्यादा है और अगर किसी के ऊपर नेगेटिव चार्ज है तो कौन ज्यादा है इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ज्यादा दैट्स इट अंडरस्टूड नाउ व्हेन एन एटम इज अट्रैक्टेड टू एन अदर एटम बिकॉज इट हैज अन इक्वल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड प्रोटॉन्स इट इज कॉल्ड एन आयन नाउ ऑफ कोर्स इफ आई प्लेस लेट मी शो यू अगेन वन एग्जांपल एन ए प्लस एंड सी एल माइनस ओके ठीक है ना वन इज पॉजिटिव चार्ज एंड अदर इज नेगेटिव चार्ज और मैं इनको पास पास रख दू तो वॉट विल हैपन ऑपोजिट चार्जेस विल अट्रैक्ट सो एन ए सी एल विल ट्राई टू अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर एन ए एंड सी एल विल अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर एंड दे विल फॉर्म अ कंपाउंड एन ए ए सी एल ये होता है ना the common salt that you eat at home that is nacl how is it formed it is formed by two types of ions one is positive ion and the other one is negative ion and because they are oppositely charged ions they will attract each other and they will combine to form a compound right so they have say shown here that they will attract each other opposite charges will attract each other right if the atom has more electrons than protons it is negatively charged now why is cl negatively charged because the number of electrons are more and why is na positively charged because here the number of protons are more right so negatively charged ion is called n ion so this is an an ion and positively charged particle is called a cation okay so positively charged particle is called a cation and uh, negatively charged ion is called an n ion let me write here for you cation so i hope this is clear to all of you right so what is an ion ion is a charged particle it is an atom or a molecule and why are the charges formed q lagte hain charges because the number of electrons and protons are not equal so if the number of protons are more then positive charge will be applied and if the number of electrons are more then negative charge will be applied and opposite char uh, ions will oppositely charged ions will attract each other so this is all about ion now let me show you some uh, figure here this atom is neutral now why is this atom neutral because you see six protons and six electrons we are not bothered about neutrons kyunki neutrons pe to charge hi nahi hota to number of positively charged is six number of negatively charged ions uh, uh, particles are also six so uh, plus six and minus six result is zero so no charge so this atom is neutral but here you see there are five protons and six electrons to kaun zyada hai beta of course electrons zyada hai to negatively charged to so, this is a negatively charged atom and here six proton and five electron to kaun zyada hai proton zyada hai so this is a positively charged atom understood right